for their contributions in furthering the design and refinement of the Texas Instruments DLP Cinema Projection Technology. The Academy presents the Scientific and Engineering Award to Brad Walker, Scott Daywalt, Bill Werner, Greg Pettit, and Frank Poradish. Gentlemen, please join us on the stage. I get to talk first. I want to thank the Academy for this honor. Uh, we all really appreciate it. It took a huge group of folks to make all this happen, so we're really accepting this on their behalf. Um, this effort has been going on since 1992, okay? There was a lot of leadership at TI back in those days. Jack Harrod, Bob England, John Van Scoder, and uh, more recently, Ken Novak. So it took a lot of vision to kind of make this happen. It took a lot of really smart folks to make this happen. And uh, it was a lot of fun. There's a lot of stories that it's hard to remember after all this time. But we're trying to put back together some of these stories. And maybe it'll make a movie script someday. What do you think? <laughs> we. We have sexy, you know, uh, acronyms and things, too. And telecentric lenses were popular earlier. We got two of them in every projector, you know? So, I don't know. Um, anyway, Doug Darrow couldn't be here tonight. Paul Breedlove couldn't be here tonight. These were guys that worked with the Hollywood community, along with Dave Duncan, to, you know, translate engineering into Hollywood speak, because there was a gap there for a while. So we had to figure all that stuff out, but they did a real good job with it. So anyway, thanks again to the Academy and for all those who helped. Um, uh, last time we had a award about five years ago, I, I shouted out to the mechanical engineers, a lot of the people who made it happen. Uh, uh, there was a time when the contrast of the DLP projector was not where they wanted it to be. And, uh, one of my friend's uh, co-worker, Josh Jacobs, and I came up with a technique to improve the contrast. Um, you know, one of those names that's not, they're not up here tonight, but critical to making what it is today. So. Yeah. I'd like to thank the Academy, uh, also Texas Instruments, for allowing us to work on this project. Also, all the other members of the DLP team, without whom we couldn't have made it possible. Also, my wife, Connie, and Brittany and Ryan are here with me, my children. So I thank everyone. Um, 20 years ago, when I first started working on uh, this technology, I, I certainly never would have uh, dreamed that it'd be uh, used to uh, project movies on over 100,000 screens around the world. Um, nor uh, enable uh, some of the 3D uh, movies and high frame rate uh, uh, movies as well. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Larry Hornbeck for uh, developing the digital micromirror device. Um, without this device, uh, uh, this technology would not have been possible. So uh, I thank you, Larry, and I thank, uh, thank you for this award. Well, just want to add uh, thanks to the perseverance of Texas Instruments and the projector manufacturers that use DLP cinema technology, and to my wife Linda, and uh, also to uh, Matt Cowan and Loren Nielsen, who were uh, essential for the development of DLP cinema. Thank you. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I forgot to thank my wife Carrie and my son. And <laughs>